Hi there, my name is Etra with Mind Studios, and in this video, we are going to talk about how to set up and use the replay tool in Universal Fighting Engine. The replay tool is a tool provided in the pro version of UFE and above. It allows you or your players to record and play back certain sections of a match at regular speed or even frame by frame. With the tool, you can also save and load back into previous game states. Generally, you'll want to use this replay tool for debugging specific attacks or issues. For example, if there is a sync error in an online match, the replay tool will pop up and let you play back the last 5 seconds of the match before the error. In a future tutorial, we'll even show you how to update the GUI so players can use it in training mode. But for now, we'll just focus on setting up the tool. To set up the tool, we have to go to the heart and soul of our project. As always, it is our global settings. I'm going to move this down. And the first thing we need to go to is the GUI options. And we want to make sure if we go down to screens, we have replay mode selected. See how it says none right there? Uh, I'm actually going to look for it right here. Replay. So what happens is sometimes when you upgrade from an older to newer version of UFE, like uh, from one version which doesn't have the replay tools to one version which does, it doesn't automatically attach here. So I'm going to take this GUI screen, bop, add it right there, and that part should be good to go. Once that's dragged into place, we need to scroll up to debug options and actually turn the replay tool on. So if we go to recording tools, we have four checkboxes right here. Checking save slash load states will allow us to use the save and load functions and record and playback tools will allow us to record and replay our gameplay. By default, the tools we just activated will be available in every game mode, but if we want the replay tool to just be usable in training mode, like I do for this project, I want to check right there. Finally, emulate playback physics is a specific option for running the replay tool frame by frame. If emulate playback physics is checked, UFE will run the physics calculations for the frame you are replaying. The physics system is connected to several elements in UFE and Unity, like sound effects. So generally, you want to keep this box checked when using the replay tool. Now that all the right boxes are checked, we should be able to open up our game and enter training mode. And ta-da! We have our replay tools right here. I'm going to maximize, and to start, I'm going to show off the save state and load state tools. So right here, I'm going to save my state where the game is right now, where I'm off to the left. I'm going to walk over, attack my opponent a little bit, bam, bam, bam. And if I go back to load state, then what's going to happen is I'm going to be teleported right back to where I was, and my enemy's health is completely restored again. So save and load state is pretty simple. The next tool down here is the replay tool. And by default, it will record 360 frames of footage when I press record. And at 60 frames a second, that means it will record 5 seconds of gameplay. So I'm going to click record, and then I'm going to fight for 5 seconds. Bam, bam, bam. That should be enough. I'll click stop. And if I click replay, it will play back all of the footage I've recorded. I can pause. I can scroll through very specifics, and I can even go frame by frame by tapping these arrows right here. I can resume play, pause it again. You can even combine this tool with the save and load state tool. So for example, if I want to go back in time to a specific frame, let's say right after I punched my enemy here, um, yeah, let's say in the middle of this uh, second punch, I'm going to click save state. And then if I click back, go back into like normal gameplay here, I click load state, bam, I'll be teleported right back to that state that was in the replay. Now this is great, but you might be wondering if there is any way to control this tool with a keyboard or a controller, since you usually don't have a mouse when testing fighting games. Well, you'll be happy to hear that each of these buttons on screen have customizable inputs, so you can use this tool exclusively with a controller or keyboard. Remember that replay tool GUI we dragged in at the start of the tutorial? Well, we can go right back to our global settings there. Go back down to that GUI. Ba -ba -ba, right at the bottom. Bam. And right here, if I click it open, attached to the prefab is a script where we can assign keyboard or button shortcuts to the save, load, record, and playback functions. 
The default record and playback keys are F12 and F11, but I'm going to change mine to keypad 1 and keypad 2 just for an example here. Now if I start up the game and press the assigned keys, the replay tool will run the proper actions. Now that you know how to use the replay tool, you can click here for a video on how to customize the tool for player use, or you can click here to see how you can eventually use the replay tool to catch bugs in online matches. I'll see you there. Bye.